time and now you have your result right there. This also has a call out for the location of that slot. So to get the position of this one, we're gonna treat it as a linear distance. We're gonna construct a mid plane. So go to construct a and plane. We're gonna create a mid plane, select the, the X minus wall and the X plus wall again. Make sure that it's actual checked and not nominal. And this is going to be the long slot mid plane. So I'm just going to call that long slot and short slot. And this one is supposed to be at 0.25. So I'm going to input that nominal in here. checkbox and it make a new tolerance for that. This is going to be plus or minus two thousands for y axis slot location plus or minus two thousands because it's a four thousands positional tolerance which is the same as a two thousands plus or minus in the x axis. Okay the checkbox and now I created a mid plane and I have my result there for the location of that slot. Now for the short slot I'm going to move to the center of the part. Absolute movement X and Y zero Z half inch above the part and using the part coordinate system we can leave that at 0, 0, 180. You can see it moved over here, and now I can take, now I have a clear path to measure these walls on this side. So I'm gonna do another plane. This surface here, CMM movement, it's only short slot. Y plus wall and point here, 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 and here. Apply. Okay. Now, another way to do distances. I'm going to show in this one, I'm going to do another plane for the other wall. Select that one. Make sure that my points are going to be orientation none, touch CMM. Points here, 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 and here. And I'm gonna name that short slot Y minus wall. And I'm going to measure the distance between them right here inside this command. This feature right here is actually distance bet um, between or distance with relation to. See if I can expand this so you can see that. If I shrink this down, distance with respect to. I'm going to create a new tolerance. There's no nominal you can put. I'm double clicking and nothing's happening. There's actually a white. These are actually white. Those are the editive, editable cells. Double click, new. And I'm going to call this short slot width. The distance in between, here you input the nominal, which is going to be also that 0 0.5005 plus or minus 5 tenths again. 
And in this one, you actually need to select the feature now that you're going to be using as a reference. I'm going to be using the short slot Y plus wall. So that is how we're going to get the distance of this one. So this is just another way to measure the distance between two features. It's in there. Apply. And there we go. Now we have our distance between these two. These deprints the same thing. It's just a different way of measuring those distances. And then the last thing we're going to check is the location of this hole. So I'm going to do an absolute movement again to get above the part and more towards the center. X, Y, zero, Z, positive half inch above the part. All this would be fine. I like to keep that at 180. And now it's moved above. And I'm gonna use another movement to move it above the hole, which is actually 0.25 inches now over. Now it's above the hole. The hole is pretty small, so I'm gonna change my track, my uh, retract and my approach to be even smaller. So settings, approach, I'm gonna change that to 0 0.0625. Now that we've actually located the part, it should be pretty accurate in finding it, so you don't need as much searching distance. My retract, 0 0.0625. Inspect, cylinder, click on the ID. Now you can actually see it there. If you go in the 3D view, if it's bound, it is showing it going all the way through the part. The probe can't go that deep, so we're gonna have to change some of those nominals. So, I'm gonna change that to the name, it's gonna be pinhole. X axis is supposed to be 0.25, Y zero, Z I'm going to have it go 0.1 inches into the part below the surface so it's shifted down and I'm going to have that direction should be Z plus, actually I'm going to make it Z minus because the length is going to go down. Oh no wait I'm coming from up so that is Z plus. You can see the model it flipped around the simulation is really nice because it can show you when you make a mistake now I'm going to change the length to negative point five and because it's so small again I do not want it to flick or rotate so I'm going to turn, change the orientation and touch to CMM, none over here. The number of touches, I don't need to take as many for this one, so I'm just going to take 12 points total. Touch, circles, it already knows how to do that. And you can see it has the simulated path in there. You can see the points and the path that the probe is going to take around. So it should have room. Looks good. Now the diameter. This one 0.25. The tolerance for this. It's going to be plus or minus four thousandths. And then for this, it actually has a positional callout. So the location is not going to be on here.
as a 4,000th positional call out. Oh no, it's a different one. Where is that? Where is that pinhole? So, these are the nominals, and we're going to go to true position. If you move this over slightly, you can see this is a two-dimensional, this is three-dimensional. We're going to create a two-dimensional positional tolerance. So go to new, name it. This one's going to be a four thousandths at maximum material condition using two datums, which is going to be our datum A, which is the flange OD. And then the second one, it's just going to be the top surface as a reference. Click OK. And then we can execute the command. Okay, and from the look of it, I went a little too deep into the hole. So I'm going to do that. Ask me if I want to keep the generated code. Yes. The only difference I'm going to do is I'm going to make an edit. So I'm physically moving the part, or the probe, out of the part. And I'm going to edit the points in this one. X, Y, Z. So here, my I'll open this up again. It shows all my points. The deeper ones, I'm just not going to have them go as deep. Instead of 0.6, I'll have them go 0.3. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to change the rest of these. And now that changed the location of all the points. Now you can see it's grouped tighter together. Before, these points were down here. So it, it moved the points from down here to up here. And I'm going to try running that again. I forgot to put a tolerance for the diameter of the pin. So it does not want to use your position. Well, there's a diameter tolerance that is overwritten. So let's try that pinhole diameter. Okay. Let's try that again. Diameter, pinhole diameter, true position. Pinhole, four thousandths, again, max material condition. Two features, A and top surface. There you go. It doesn't like having something with the same name. So there we go. Now I'm just going to have it move out of the part and away. And that is the end of the program. Save it. And that is done.